Here's Ranger Suarez, second start, 6.75 ERA. Johnny, I thought he was so-so against the Rockies. I think he felt the same way, but it was nice to see him out there. Yeah, it's good to see him out there, and you know he's just going to get better as you know he works up the arm strength and can go deeper in the game. One, two, back to the box. Flagged down by Suarez. <laughs> it's like he's playing possum with the hitter. Go ahead, you can sprint. Sprint all you want. I'm going to throw you out. Bring up the left fielder, Ian Happ. That's the third and through, and that's a really good at bat for Ian Happ. And this time Ian was up to the challenge and gets himself a two out knock. And here's a potential turning point early in the game for Patrick Wisdom. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did, says Andy Fletcher. Wisdom says there's no way. 25 pitches. And Ranger Suarez is through the top of the first. Yeah, let's take a look at the Stroh show. And he's been rock solid pretty much every time he's gone to the mound. Here's Harper, 314 hitter. Pitch to Harper, ground ball left side, tough play. Off the glove of Madrigal, down the left field line. Racing to third safely is Stott. The throw to second, Harper slides, he's safe. And here is Castellanos out to right field. It's not a hit, but it should get the run hold. Suzuki's under it, tagging from third. Is, oh, he dropped it. They're going to say it's an out, though. It was in the exchange. Harper goes to third. Castellanos continues to second. It used to be you had to take the ball out of your glove clean, but I guess that rules. I mean, he definitely caught it, and then he went to make the transfer, opened up his glove. His, uh, yep. Ball wasn't there when he reached for it. Here's Morrell. All four. That'll load the bases up. Second walk issued by Ranger. And this is something you don't see much from Ranger, and that's command issues. Now the bases are loaded, and there's nobody out. So now it's magical. Up the middle, Turner can't get it. One run is in, here comes Gomes to the plate. Jan across to score. Nick Madrigal, two run single, and the Cubs have the lead. And now it's Nico Horner, and there's still nobody out. Line drive, curling, and a fair ball into the corner. Morell's going to score. Here comes Madrigal around third. Nico will stop at second. It's a two run double, and it's now 4 1. Natives getting a little restless here in Philly. Nico Horner hits it in the corner. Welcome back, Nico. Here's Stott. Upright stance from the left side. The 3 2. Hit in the air to left center field. Hat giving chase slides and makes the catch. Sosa has to retreat to first. Here comes the throw. It is not in time. Just getting back to first. Sosa. Nice catch and an even nicer throw. Ian sliding on one knee after a long run in left center. Planted that right foot and made a one hop strike all the way to first base. One of the best throws I've ever seen Ian Happ make, quite frankly. First and second with nobody out. Oh, and two goals waits. Runners take off. Pitch outside and no opportunity for Real Muto. Yolman just kind of fall asleep there. Gomes has been up twice and singled twice. 3-2. Swing and a high fly ball drilled to center. Marsh back, back some more and makes the catch. Suzuki will tag and score and more good work at the plate from Jan Gomes and now it's Christopher Morrell a high bouncer off the glove of Turner a run will score Morrell's thinking about going to second he's going to get there it's six to one and Nico Horner in the top of the order is due up for the Cubs line drive rip right field Castellanos over his head Morrell around third and he's in to score they're sending Madrigal no throw to the plate and it is 8 1 and Nico Horner back and making his presence felt yeah that'll go as a two run double but another ball that certainly could have been if not should have been caught out there well it's the second two run double of the day that is a beautiful play by Sosa he scrambles to his feet not in time please a look at that one it looked like they may have gotten him. Eric back is the first base umpire ruled safe he looked at it for a little bit and the Phillies will challenge it what a play by Sosa yeah he's out oh, yeah by a lot at the replay the call's been overturned the runner is out it hasn't been a great inning defensively but it's going to end on an unbelievable play by Edmundo Sosa Edmundo Sosa is the batter 
Sosie hits a big one hopper to short. Swanson to second one over to first. That's a double play. Swanson to Horner to Mervis. Quickly two down nobody on. Arguably the best double play combination in Major League Baseball going right now. Cubs finally scored some runs from Marcus Stroman and he never let the Phillies get back in the game. Stroman gets him to swing and miss. Swing and a miss. Bohm has gone two away. The 3 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Trey Turner is gone. Chop to third. And Madrigal grabs it, steps on the bag. Six innings, one Ernie on three hits, four strikeouts, two walks. That's a quality start number eight for Marcus that leads MLB. One down man at first. Here's Morell. High fly ball left field. Schwarber back, back some more near the wall. He runs out of room, and Morell has gone deep again. Home run number six, and the Cubs lead it 10 1. A towering fly ball that just got out to left field. And what a home run jag he is on. Six home runs now in nine games since being called up from Iowa. Kyle Schwarber is going to stroll to the plate. He's 0 for 2. The 1 2 from Birdie. Swing and a miss. That's what he did. And he strikes out Kyle Schwarber. 101 miles per hour. How to bring up Alec Bohm. On the ground is short. This should do it. Dansby, Nico. And fittingly, it ends in Nico Horner's glove. Cubs win. 10 1 the final. And for the Cubs, seventh consecutive win against the Phillies. And the first time they've done that. In quite a while, and they put an end to a five game losing streak. And the Cubs are back in the winning column, and what has been a very difficult stretch.